Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing Good evening. tonight? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, we are going to start the class by calling the attendance. I hope everybody is okay. Um, remember that you have to turn on your cameras and you have to say present when you hear your name. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Just one second. There we are. You know what this always happen? Maybe I have the wrong files. <laughs> Okay. Hoy que ya lo tenía listo, eh, parece que no es el, eh, el correcto como no debiera ser. Bien, it says zero seven here. Doesn't say five here. Okay, so clean up. Meanwhile, we are going to go uh, for a feedback, okay? Okay, Erika and Nilsson, no problem. Okay. Okay, let's start by doing this feedback. Okay, this is about asking for information using can. Using can. Remember that when we um, structure a question um, for information, you use um, WH words. In this case, we're using where. Where means that you are asking or requesting for places information, okay? So uh, what other WH words do you remember? What other w WH words do you remember? The question words. What, when, okay. how. Good. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Who, when. Very good. So we use the WH words 
to ask for information. It means that we are not requesting a yes, no answer, right? But when we are asking for possibility, then we are asking for a yes, no answer, okay? So let's remember and let's start with this, okay? It's, this is kind of easy because we have seen just a little bit about this can model verb. Uh, it's not that we are going to say can as, a, as an ability. In this case, it's possibility, okay? So let's see these examples. And remember that in the first column, we have can as the modal verb, as the auxiliary verb to request the information politely, okay? And uh, we have the pronouns in this other column, the second column, and then we have some complements in the third column. So let's try to um, structure some uh, questions here because this is the thing. Possibilities are question, remember? When we ask for possibilities or when we ask for information, we are uh, using questions. So let's remember that, okay? Can at the beginning, okay? Can I leave early today? Okay, that's, I'm maybe requesting for a permission in this case, but exactly what I am requesting is for a possibility. They can tell me if you can, or if I can or if I can't. Okay, uh, so we can ask this as a possibility. So can I leave early today? Then the boss is going to say, no, you can't, right? Or he's going to say, yes, you can. Then can you store the televisions on shelves? Can you store the televisions on shelves? Let's remember, can you store, es el verbo almacenar, okay? The televisions on shelves. Is there any other way to, um, to store these kind of products that it is a better option than shelves? That's what we are asking for. Eso es lo que estamos preguntando, right? Maybe the shelves is the, the best option in that warehouse, for example, right? Avoiding floods, av avoiding every other kind of uh, things that can spoil, right? These televisions are ruining these televisions. Maybe they can get broken. So we are asking, can you store the televisions on shelves? Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can. Let's see, can he have a meeting at 5 p.m.? Can he have a meeting at 5 p.m.? This is just a possibility because this person can choose the hour or the time that he wants to have the meeting, right? Maybe he's not able to do it at five. Maybe he is going to do it at six, right? So this is a possibility too. Uh, this is the way to ask for a possibility. Can he have a meeting at 5 p.m.? Remember the question mark. And then the answer is, yes, he can. No, he can't right? No, he can't. And if he can't, then he is going to say, no, I can't, right? Maybe, no, he can. He wants to have a meeting or he'd like to have a meeting at 6 p.m., right? So it's a possibility. Now let's see these other ones. These other ones are information questions, information questions. So we were saying the WH words, what, where, who, when, why, and how, okay? There are others, there are others that you're going to study them maybe later or maybe in next modules, right? Entonces, existen otras más que las van a estudiar probablemente en otros módulos cercanos o ya un poco más avanzados, okay? Bien. We are just looking at the structure, looking at the structure. This is kind of grammar, okay? I don't want to stop in grammar. I want to stop in the usage, okay? So let's see this uh, kind of fast, uh, kind of quickly. What can, okay, I pile the boxes, right? Uh, I'm sorry, where can I pile the boxes, yeah? Probablemente yo puedo decir, what can I pile in the boxes, right? In the boxes, ahí sí entra con what, porque estamos hablando de una cosa, right? But where, where can I pile the boxes, okay? Who can store the televisions? 
puede ir con el pronombre o sin el pronombre, ¿sí? Bien. When can she pack the beverages, for example? When, when. Entonces, vamos a utilizar un poquito más para este contexto. Where, when, who, ¿ok? Podríamos usar how can they para que nos digan la manera, ¿ok? En que pueden almacenar los objetos, etcétera. Porque estamos, recordémonos que estamos en el... Eh, en acción storing, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos de regreso para acá. ¿Sí? Ya vimos la estructura de cómo es gramaticalmente. Aquí tenemos, where can you store these products? Entonces, su trabajo va a ser que usted le va a preguntar a su compañero o a su compañera, le va a preguntar en dónde puede guardar cualquiera de estos eh, productos. Y su compañero o compañera le va a contestar, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que van a usar para eso? Para poder contestar los lugares, ¿verdad? Vamos a usar la, eh, el vocabulario de los lugares en donde guardamos las cosas, ¿sí? Like a storage place, ¿sí? Store room, warehouse, closet, etc. Y podemos pensar en los empaques o en los lugares ya especializados, destinados, ¿verdad? Como los que veíamos por acá, ¿sí? Acuérdense que hicimos una lectura de guidelines, de reglas, normas, ¿verdad? De cómo se deben o tiene usted que guardar algunos productos. Entonces, también hay que recordar que hay regulaciones legales, ¿verdad? Que... Eh, amparan al, al consumidor para cuando le venden un producto arruinado y van y ven que usted no los está almacenando según la ley, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí en esa lectura lo teníamos, esos guidelines. Entonces, ahí también hay más vocabulario que pueden utilizar para responder precisamente esto. Así que nos vamos a ir al break room. Solo déjenme ver si ya cargó realmente el archivo para poder pasarles lista. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ir a hacer? Vamos a preguntar dónde poder guardar los diferentes productos. Exactly. You are going to request information, right? Where? Of the places where you can store the products. Correct. Háganme favor y todos pónganme ahorita en el WhatsApp presente con su nombre porque no puedo ni accesar al de la computadora ni al de eh, internet. Háganme favor en este momento me lo envían mientras yo voy a eh, crear los grupos, ¿sí? Vale, para que no nos cueste el ejercicio, vayan escribiendo la pregunta y escriban la respuesta. ¿okay? 
la que ustedes vayan creando, ¿verdad? Con cada producto. Where can you store dried foods? Where can you store? Y, y la respuesta a eso, ¿verdad? Ok. Estamos listos, ¿verdad? Va a compartir la imagen. Okay. Eh, sí, estoy tratando de hacerlo. Sí, estoy tratando de hacerlo ahorita. Ok. Y si comparte la pantalla y le tomamos un screen. Y ya ahorita voy, permítame. Ahorita sí, una idea. Vamos a ver. Sí, sí. A ver, en el WhatsApp yo creo que ya llegó. Aquí está, dice que está Loren. Ya se los mandé ahí en el WhatsApp. Ya se pudo ahí. Right. Ok. Thank you. Hello, Eric. Oh, okay, you are a listener, right? Um, okay. Eh, esta como respuesta, ¿verdad? Yes. Siguiendo. Estas indicaciones. Por uh, ejemplo, where can you store uh, furniture? Furniture. Okay, entonces vamos a hacer. Voy a. Bueno, como es imagen no se puede. Voy a hacer la pregunta y. Ok. Yo Yes, sir. ¿Cómo se llama? Furniture. Furniture. Hello, Hello, teacher. How are you doing here? Is it okay? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I see you are doing a good job. Uh -huh. This word is furniture. Furniture, yes. Okay. Yes, all kind oh, yeah. of um, this cabinets and tables all together, right? Ch chairs, yes. that's furniture. Uh, you can uh, for, uh, for furniture in a warehouse. Sí. Yes. That's right.
Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Tenemos aquí botellas de vidrio, tenemos eh, partes de vehículos, tenemos eh, estos eh, appliances, son como accesorios, serían como partes eléctricas también, ¿verdad? O accesorios eléctricos. Sí, sí, accesorios electrónicos. Herramientas, tenemos frutas y vegetales, medicinas, aceite vegetal. Pero a ver. Entonces, ¿qué es? Arma. Vaya, la, la medicina. Where you can, you vaso can, de vidrio. Vaso de vidrio. Uh -huh. Creo where, que ahí mismo. Uh -huh. Where can you store glass bottles? En, como dijo, gabinete, ¿verdad? Gabinet. Ok. Sin gabinete. Ok. Uh, fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Okay. I store I store the fruit fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator. Okay. Ahora usted pregunte. Okay. Where where can you store the glass bottles where can you store the glass bottles oh. uh, i store the glass bottles and the en the wooden boxes no sé si sería así very good en cajitas de, ma cajita de madera Yeah, excellent. Uh, wooden, okay. wooden. Wooden, wooden boxes. Yes. Wooden box. Okay, perfect. Okay. It's where you can store the... Computers and this. Buenas noches, teacher. Hola. Hello. Hi, teacher. Dice que eh, eh, con el compañero no hemos podido hacer nada porque oh. él está de oyente. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to switch you to another, to another, um, I will do the swap, okay? Okay. I will send you to another group.
Cold storage. Cold room. Cool storage. O storage. ¿Cómo sería? Cool. Cool storage room. Ajá. You, you can store. Where can you store fruits and vegetables? Okay. Vegetable. Sería. Cold, cold room. You can store the cold room. Cuarto. Ajá. Uh -huh. You can store. I said, well, computer and device. Computer, see, yes. Computers and device. Where? Okay. Eh, lo que ahí les he dejado medicina siempre. Sí, ah, eso estaba bien. Ah, sí. uh -huh. ah perdón. <risa> Por estar copiando. Sí, alguien me dijo una vez que, que hay que escribir para que te acostumbres. Eh, también en, en la de safe you can store medicine de has dejado ah, o sea, que es cierto <risa> cool. otra hello eh, tell me teacher ¿cómo, eh, recuérdenos cómo se dice caja fuerte que tenemos yes, dudas safe safe ah safe ah mm -hmm. ok que teníamos dudas y por eso lo habíamos puesto en paréntesis acá. Uh, all right. It is safe. It's safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excelente, Luis, que Luis nos, nos ha aclarado. <risa> ok. ¿Cuál otra compañía más? Electric. Um, ah, How do you say? Appliance. Appliance. Appliances. 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 Uh -huh. Appliances. Appliances. Mm -hmm. eh, for example, a toaster, a blender. Uh, for example, I don't know, maybe the mixer. Things that you use in the kitchen, like the coffee maker, or maybe lamps in the living room, or but they are electric. You have to. Uh, they work with electricity, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, where can you store uh, electric appliances? Appliances. Apply appliances. Appliances. Me cuestan las palabras así medio compuestas. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to practice a little more of those kind of words. Appliances. Mm -hmm. The question mark. Electric appliance. Yes. Okay. You can store uh, electric appliances in a. Uh, let me see. In a storeroom? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Or closet. Yes, that's that is okay. only thinking in your home, right? right. Uh, yes. But if you think about an a store, una tienda, okay, and un almacén, 
who sells those things, they need to have a proper place for those uh, products, right? Meanwhile, they sell them. Um, we can use uh, Depot. Nice. Teacher, I have a question. Depot is a, a deposit, for, for him. Yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it means that you have everything you need for a related activity. For example, if you have an art depot, it, it means that you are going to have always available that kind of products in that depot. For example, uh, if your depot is for, uh, is of beverages, you have all kind of beverage in the brand that you have the license to distribute, right? So you have that kind of a specific products related to an, a, a field or an activity, right? An expertise, yeah. Okay. okay. That is why we have Office Depot. That is why we have Home Depot, because you can make the difference between the kind of products. You can make the difference between the office um, products and also the home products, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Creo que ya lo hicimos todo, no. <laughs> eh, no falta computer. And drive rules. Hi, teacher. Electric. Hello. Hello. ¿Cuál sería en electric appliance? Appliances. Appliances. Electric appliance. Este appliance. Eh, básicamente este es warehouse. Warehouse, ajá, correcto. O pretendes jugar con el mismo gato más. Warehouse. Mira, me estoy aquí. Warehouse. Tools. The same. Warehouse. No castigues a mis hijos por mi culpa. Fuiste tú quien se distanció. Después de todo lo que hiciste. Fruits, you start vegetables. Your, uh, uh, the tools. Tools, uh, warehouse. Tools. Fruits and vegetables. Um, hmm. Frutos y... Okay. Bueno. Entonces, Raúl, um, where, where, where can you store the vegetable oil? The vegetable oil. 
Ni usamos aceite ah, vegetal. Ah, pero... Aceite vegetal, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Hay que un store de vegetal. Vegetable oil. In a pantry. On a pantry. Oh, te voy a cambiar la pregunta. Where can you store the engine oil? ¿Vos le cambias el aceite a tu carro? ¿Eh? ¿Vos le cambias el aceite a tu carro? No. No. O sea, voy a que lo haga. <risa> <risa> Pero si es de que si se lo cambio, yes, hay... I can store. Okay. And where can you store it, Matiel? No. Hola. Where can you store the engine oil? Yeah. Yes. I I store in the in the garage. Oh, in your garage. Okay. But if you are taking it uh in your car, what's the place to take it? What? What's the place to take it in your car? Si yo lo reparo. No, no, no. ¿De dónde sería el lugar en su carro para llevarlo, para andarlo llevando? Ah. Uh, no, no. The trunk. The trunk. ¿Cómo se llama el baúl? Trunk. Trunk. Uh -huh. trunk. The trunk. Uh -huh. Con T. Yeah. Okay. Yes. T-R-U-N-K. Trunk. Yeah. Trunk. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good. Trunk. Continue, guys. You are doing a very good job. I'm going to another group, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, here we are. Is it everybody back? I think so. We have only one missing from the beginning. Okay, then, guys, vamos a ver. Tenemos varios grupos, sí, que han trabajado. Entonces, vamos a comenzar. We are going to start by, a ver. En el grupo número uno, group number one, we have Carlos, Luis, and Rafael. Guys, can you share your screen what, uh, with your job? All the work you did with the questions and answers, please. Todos los demás, vamos a leer lo que ellos han hecho. Y vamos a decir si estamos de acuerdo o no, o qué otra idea podemos aportar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Se ve, teacher? Yes, 
Yes, okay. I can see it. Can everybody see it? Okay. I can see it. Okay. So here we have the questions and the answers. Look, the first one is the question. The next one is the answer. Look, look, look over there. Okay. A ver, vamos leyendo por ahí. A ver si estamos de acuerdo. Uh, can you store furniture in warehouses? Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can. Is there any other idea? Vamos a ver. A cabinet. Okay, and cabinets like which ones? Can you give us an example? Mm, in my case, uh, I I stored like that in the cabinet, like in the Spanish, but un chinero. Okay, okay. But that's furniture. I mean, chinero is part of the de, furniture. Del grupo oh, de furniture. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. the furniture. I'm sorry. I, com I confused. <laughs> oh, oh, you got confused. Okay, no problem. Yes. No problem. Bien, Ay, every malo, Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody agrees? Everybody agrees that you can store furniture and warehouses? Agreed. Okay, very good. So yes, and warehouses. Uh, have you been um, have you been um, price smart? Have you been price smart? They don't have it maybe um, armed, okay? No están todos armados, ¿verdad? They have it on boxes and you uh, put the pieces together as the customer, right? So maybe you can store furniture in that way and boxes and the shelves, right? But industrial shelves, those are yes. like an industrial shelves, right? Yes. Okay, that's my idea. Is there any other idea? Have you seen another way to store furniture? ¿Han visto alguna otra manera de cómo almacenan los muebles? Furniture son todos los muebles, ¿ok? Todos, incluidos, digamos, un escritorio, una silla, to todo junto se llama furniture, ¿ok? No podemos decir one furniture, o oh, no, decimos one piece of furniture, two pieces of furniture, so we cannot count furniture, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, ¿alguien tiene otra idea de cómo ha visto, de cómo los almacenan? In boxes. In boxes, okay. Mm -hmm. They just pile them up, right? They just pile them up in some corner, right? In the store or maybe in the warehouses too, right? Okay, then where can you store the tools? Well, el grupo de Rafael dijo que in shelves. Can you store tools in shelves? Can you store tools in shelves? Yes. 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 Yes, you can, right? Yes, can. yes you yes, can. can. Okay, then, no problem. Yeah, you can do it on shelves or maybe in panels, right? With these kind of hooks, con esos como ganchos, ¿verdad? Para colgarlos. So you can do that too. Uh, if they, if the package, for example, Dollar City, have you seen the tools in Dollar City? It's like a panel with yeah. hooks, right? Okay. Maybe they are not shelves because you cannot look at them. It's because of the display thing, right? So you can store them in the warehouse in shelves because they come in big boxes, but maybe to display them, you just store them like uh, in panels with hooks, right? Con ganchos, right? Hooks is ganchos. Okay. Let's read the next one. It says, where can you store fruit and vegetables? Fruit and vegetables. Uh, well, they said in the walk-in, okay? In the walk-in room. In the, or, in the walking storage room. Excuse okay. me? In the pantry, okay? Pantry. If there is a spot where you can put them, yeah, I think so. But usually do... In, the, in our houses, we use this kind of shelves uh, that they are ventilated because they have kind of holes, right? Como las canastas, yeah? Um, basket. So baskets, uh-huh. The baskets. Mm -hmm. Hello, Henry, tell us. 
uh, in for storage uh, vegetables in the cold rooms in the supermarket. Okay, yes, uh -huh. like those are kind of freezers. Yeah, and they are special with the special, I mean, with the specific temperature for maintaining them fresh, right? Yes, you're right. Those are kind of, and if you put them in the back, I mean, in the warehouse, but it is at the, in the back in the supermarkets, yes, they have it in kind of cold uh, rooms or ventilated areas, right? With the, with the specific temperature. Okay, yes, there, there you are. Is there any other idea? Uh, yes, uh, in our houses, Mm -hmm. uh, in a bag into the refrigerator. Okay, in a drawer, in a drawer and the refrigerator. Yes. In a bag, okay, in bags. Yes, yes because bag. if you don't put them in a bag, maybe, maybe they get frozen, right? And they get ruined. Yes, you're right. No duran. Mm -hmm. right? Potatoes, for example. Oh, uh, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Avocados. Ah, avocado. 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 Uh -huh. eh, se venden eh, congelados. Oh, frozen? Have you seen frozen? Well, I haven't seen them, but yeah, okay. Okay. No, okay. here. Eh, it's in United Kingdom. Oh, great. Yeah, because they don't produce here it, too. right? Mm -hmm. Here too. Do they do it here? Okay. Pensas. Oh, really? They have a bag of baseball. Oh, yeah, but with, I mean, just the meat of it, right? Just the uh -huh. meat. Okay, okay, good. So, yes, they can be, they can mm, be frozen too. Also, vegetables, they come in bags and you can uh, get them frozen. But here we are talking maybe about the fresh ones, right? Fresh fruit and vegetables. Also, you can get them frozen. Uh, Van a Prismar, agarran ustedes sus bolsas de vegetales congelados, ¿verdad? Frutas congeladas, yeah. Frozen fruits, frozen vegetables. So it is okay with uh, the walking freezers, the walking cut rooms, right? With the uh, storage rooms in the kitchens that they are uh, ambience with the correct temperature, right? Okay, there you are. Veamos entonces medicine. Where can you store medicine? El grupo de ellos dijo in the cabinet. In the cabinet. What do you think? Yes, you can. Can you store medicine in cabinets? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay, in cabinets. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, store a... Uh, uh, you can store it in dry store place. Um, in a store, uh, yeah, in the correct, yeah, in the right oh. store place. Correct. Mm -hmm. Every medicine has its own indications, right? How to um, store them, how to maintain them and or extend the life of these products. So uh, usually, mm, for example, antibiotics, antibiotics, you have to buy them in these bottles. And when you prepare them, they come in powder, right? Vienen en polvo, right? They come in powder in these bottles, maybe usually for kids, right? For antibiotics for kids, antibióticos para niños. Then you prepare them with the correct amount of water, then you shake them, and then you store them in your refrigerator because that's the indication from the factory, okay? manufacturer. Manufacturer's indication says that you have to store them in the refrigerator. But there are some others that they don't need any refrigerator, right? You just put them in cabinets, you just put them, bueno, las, las farmacias. Now they use shelves. Supermarkets, they use shelves. Um, what else? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, and there is another specification of this, another feature that the bottles or the packaging comes in dark colors, okay, in dark colors, because light can, um, it's a factor, right? Light is a factor. La luz es un factor muchas veces, entonces una de las características de los empaques es que tiene que ser un bote oscuro o una, incluso los... Um, ¿Cómo se llaman estos? Uh, donde vienen las pastillas. 
blisters, okay, the blisters, they are also dark, okay, they are also dark because light is a factor for extending the life. Okay, then uh, let's talk about the weapons. What do you think, guys? Can you store weapons in a drawer? In this case, I use the head on and the safe. Can you store weapons in the safe? Weapons on. Uh, mm -hmm. You yes, have okay. to in the locked drawer. Okay. Yes. Okay. In a lot. Locked drawer. Okay. Podría ser locker. Okay. In a locker. Mm -hmm. In a locker. A specific thing to do it, right? And a specific um, piece of furniture, maybe special for those kind of things. Usually, uh, those people who's uh, got this amount of weapons for exhibition ha have you seen them in windows glass windows right like uh, chineros right like this um, what is the the french name for that chiffoniers right something like that yeah uh so yes kind of pantry thing right kind of pantry thing but this is very interesting because you have to put in I mean, keep this in a very safe place. Why? Because the, of the regulations and the dangerous they are, okay? For people who, doesn't know, who don't know how to use them, you can uh, cause an injury, right? Or maybe not an injury, it can cause death, right? Okay, then what about, where can you start? Vegetable oil, vegetable oil. Can you store vegetable oil in the pantry? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can. Yes, yes you can. Mm -hmm. Do you store, I mean, can you store vegetable oil in bags? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can. What about in bottles? Plastic bottles? What is best? I mean, what is the better way to store the vegetable oil in plastic bottles or glass bottles? What do you think? I think glass, glass bottles. Glass the glass. Glass. Plastic bottles. Plastic bottles, okay. Yeah, because uh, they slip and then you can get uh, injured too with the glass if they broke. Pero si sí, realmente la, la calidad, the quality of the product is, uh, it's kept yeah. better in the glass thing, right? We have to be careful uh, handling this, handling this um, packaging, right? Okay, guys. So yes, you can do it in a pantry. You can store them in a the pantry. Where can you store electric appliances? Can you store them in neti pots? Can you store them in a pot? I think you can. Store. I think you can. Why? For example, I go to La Curacao, right? I go to La Curacao and I want to see how they store irons, blenders, mixers, and toasters. ¿Qué otro aparato podemos usar? Ah, lamps. Uh, ¿Qué otro podemos usar? Eléctrico. Uh, maybe, oh, those drill, drilling things, right? There's... Um, I don't know. Uh, fryers. Irons. Okay. The fryers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those kind of things, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, In the they are way. not so fragile, right? They are not so fragile. No son tan frágiles en el sentido de que si no traen un... Ah, for, for example, the um, fruit juicer, then I think it is fragile. But maybe because of the parts of it. Uh, por el tazón, por lo que... For the bowl, for example, the, the coffee maker, for the, for the jars, uh, glass jars, they are kind of fragile. Right. So yes, in the depot it's okay, and they have to come with the um, with 
wrap, I mean, bubble wrap, right? Inside, bubble wrap to protect all the parts, right? Bubble wrap, saben, el de burbujitas, yeah, el plástico de burbujitas, right? So that's bubble wrap. Um, so, um, let's continue. So we can do it in a deeper because they have all related to an um, expertise, right? Hello, Rafael, tell us. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, bien. Eh, terminamos por acá y ya vimos, ¿verdad? Glass bottles, can you uh, store glass bottles in a pantry? Yes, you can, right? Yes, you can. Uh, what about the computers and devices? And shelves? Can you store them in shelves? Okay. Guys, I can't listen. You can store it in a box too. Okay, in boxes. Mm -hmm. Box, boxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where can you store dry vegetables? Dry vegetables. Aquí no nos han puesto, eh? Ajá. Vamos a ver. Dry. You can, you can store it in... In uh, bags. <laughs> okay, in bags. Yes, correct. Boxes. Uh, mm -hmm. In boxes too. For example, the raisins. Have you seen the raisins? They come in little boxes, like in portions and also oh, serving portions, right? And then you have the big ones where you can just do, I mean, divide all the serving portions. And also, for example, if you buy dry figs, dry um, okay, tomatoes, dry peppers, Okay, chile secos, eh, compramos también eh, Jamaican rose, <laughs> rosa de Jamaica, right? It's a vegetable, it's a flower also, but um, it's dry, okay? They come in bags and they come in bottles too. Okay, there we go. And they come in boxes too. Yeah, and you can put them on shelves, right? You can put them on shelves. You can store them on shelves. Okay, people. Uh, can you please stop sharing and we're going to call the roll. Okay, si sí queda entendido, ¿verdad? Cómo usamos preguntas para información con quién y de posibilidad con quién. De posibilidad es solo una yes no answer, yes no question. The information is con where, when, who, what, etc. right? Okay, guys, please turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Today is Thursday, July the 28th, right? Okay, Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. I saw Carlos Roberto over there. Uh, he has problem with the internet connection. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, Consuelo Saray Rivas Lopez. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Cervellón. Present. Okay. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Hernan Antonio Chacon López. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Isabel, Isa perdón. Perdón, perdón. Yo no sé por qué siempre me equivoco con su nombre, Jose Abel. I'm sorry. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Oh, he's not here. Aren't you there, Jose Abel? No. Phew. Solo en el video va a ver que me equivoqué. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Ok, he's a listener. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Ok, Juan. Karen Jamilet. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Karen. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Oscar Leonel García Magaña. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. 
Rafael, okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay. Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. José Miguel Maza Orellana. Wendy Lisset Gómez García. Luis Ernesto Majano Valle. Present. Okay. María José Hernández Auceda. Ok, bien. Les quiero sugerir algo y es muy importante y tomenlo en cuenta. Hay que usar al máximo el vocabulario que hemos aprendido. Ya llevamos módulo 1, módulo 2, módulo 3. Hemos aprendido bastantes verbos, hemos aprendido bastantes palabras sueltas y ahora las estamos acomodando en estructuras gramaticales. Entonces, todo lo que hemos aprendido, no lo olvidemos, traigámoslo aquí y exprimamos el cerebro a modo de decirle, obligar a nuestro cerebro que tiene que decirlo con nuestra boca, ¿verdad? O sea, no, no tengamos miedo, ¿ok? De expresarnos. Ya hay cosas que sí las sabemos decir y se han fijado que a veces dices es que no sé cómo se dice tal cosa y la teacher le dice, y, ah, sí, dice. Entonces hay que hacer ese esfuerzo, ¿verdad? De mantener eh, o de, eh, eh, sí, sería como de esforzar el cerebro en el sentido de eh, traer a memoria. ¿Y cómo se hace eso? Tratando de olvidar cómo lo decimos en español, ¿ok? Tratemos de, que, de olvidar que la teacher les va a entender, ¿ok? La teacher no les va a entender en español y aquí en adelante. Ahora les va a entender nada más en inglés. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué les parece? Y todos así se me quedan viendo. No, vamos bien, vamos bien. Todos van avanzando muy bien. Escucho muy buenas pronunciaciones. Así que no tengan miedo. Bueno, vamos a continuar entonces que el tema del día de hoy es be going to, how to use it, okay? Because sometimes when we want to buy something online, for example, we need to ask questions about the time, okay? The, um, the time that they are going in the future, right? Uh, when I'm going to receive that product. So we're going to see this in that context, okay? Buying maybe online, okay? Or buying um, maybe by phone, okay? In a, di in a different way, not exactly going in the mortar and brick uh, store, okay? Or maybe you go to a store and then you ask for a day to deliver that product to um, a specific uh, address, right? Okay, bien, entonces déjenme introducir un poco esto. Eh, el tema es how to use be going to. How to use be going to. Okay, so okay. To remember, this is your video conference number four. Today is the 28th, okay, July the 28th. And we know that be going to is one of the ways to express future things, maybe things that are planned or scheduled events, okay? So we use be going to to express future actions or to express scheduled activities. So in that case, we are going to use this according to this objective, okay? You will be able to use be going to in context. In what context? Buying, right? And purchasing and storing, okay? So you are going to be using, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, you are going to be using, be going to in context in a conversation in groups in which some products are being shipped to your homes, okay? Probablemente usted está pidiendo algo en línea, como les decía, y quiere que se lo envíen. Entonces vamos a aprender ese un poco de vocabulario, sí, primero, para poder usar be going to. Ya sabemos que, si no va el verbo be y solo va going, entonces quiere decir que es el verbo ir, ¿verdad? 
pero si va con be going to es va a ir, voy a ir, vamos a ir, ¿ok? Entonces, o solo vamos a, vamos a, eh, van a, va a, voy a, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver acá. Bueno, nuestra agenda era el chit chat que tuvimos al principio, ¿sí? Eh, y que nos fuimos a los breakout rooms also, ¿verdad? Para platicar how can you store the things uh, or where can you store those products. We saw the class objective. Now we are going to the present progressive. Even this is not present progressive. This is future, okay? Be going to. And the written activities that we are going to do in our manuals later. And then we have another activity ordering uniforms okay this is the topic that we are going to see and develop so let's go to see this the short briefing okay eh, una pequeña presentación de lo que sería be going to para qué sirve be going to a ver alguien tiene una idea para qué sirve be going to para es como estar yendo okay pero para qué nos ayuda nos ayuda Me a expresar. Future. Exactly. Express to an action at the moment. Uh, no, no. That's, that's present progressive. That's present progressive. Um, It's like a simple future. Yes, like simple. Mm -hmm. Es una de las formas, okay? Es una de las formas para expresar el futuro. It's one of the ways to express future. And these actions are scheduled. It's certain future, okay? Es un futuro cierto. Es un futuro que ya está estipulado o planeado para ese, es una actividad que va a suceder porque lo hemos determinado así. For example, okay, here is not a possibility. Here is that I am going to send a confirmation email. Right. If you, for example, are buying something online or by phone, okay, the person, uh, I mean the seller, will tell you, I am going to send a confirmation email of your transaction, right? Of your transaction. Maybe you receive a number, you receive a tracking number for those uh, products that you have already bought. And um, they can say it in a different um, way. For example, in a negative way. Puede ser en afirmativo, puede ser en negativo. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo sería el negativo? El verbo be y le agregamos not antes de going to, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver entonces. I'm not going to send a confirmation email. Okay. Este es solo un ejemplo de una de las actividades que podrían estar pasando. Pero vamos a recordar entonces el verbo to be. Okay. Y sería así. I am. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sigue? You are. You are. Uh -huh. He is. He is. Uh -huh. She is. She is. It is. It, it, it is. is. Uh -huh. We are. We are. Ok. Estas ya sabemos que tienen una eh, forma corta, ¿verdad? O una forma abreviada. Eh, ¿Qué se usa cuando hablamos? Sí. Cuando hablamos, nosotros usamos la mayor contracciones posibles para hacer más rápido y más corto, ¿verdad? Lo que hablamos o decimos. Entonces, en forma positiva es I'm. ¿Ok? You're. Sí. Vamos a ver, sería is. ¿Cómo sería este? Yes. Yes. Okay, she's. ¿Y este cómo sería? It's. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería este? Where. 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 There. There. 
Estos suenan bastante parecido, ¿verdad? El there and there, right? They sound similar. And we understand that in the context. Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Eso que le agregamos al verbo to be sería going to. ¿Ok? Yo voy a. ¿Sí? No digo estoy yendo a. ¿Ok? No es esa la traducción literal, sería voy a. ¿Ok? I'm going to. Okay. You're going to. No cambia para nada. Miren. Going to. Going to. ¿Y qué es lo que le tengo que agregar después de going to? Una acción. Y la acción que voy a agregar, el verbo tiene que ir en su forma base. Base form. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? They're going to. Bien. Entonces, este iría en la forma base. Por ejemplo, ahí tenemos send. ¿Alguien me quiere dar otra actividad? A ver, ¿qué pudiéramos hacer? I'm sorry, can you repeat it? Drive. Drive. ¿Así? Drive. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not able to understand what you're saying. A ver, I'm going to drive. Is okay? Okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to drive. A ver, you're going to another action, another verb. You're going to store the product. Store the products. Excellent. Aha, uh -huh. he's going to another action. Arrive. Arrive, Arrive early, right? Tomorrow. Yes, because it's in the future. Now she's going to. A ver, otra acción. Send emails. Okay, send emails. Good. A ver, una acción para eat. It's going to. It's going to rain. Okay. It's going to rain. Very good. We are, we're going to. A ver. Study. 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 Very good. Okay, study all night, right? <laughs> you are English. They're going to eat, eat pupusas. Yeah, yeah. my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to eat pupusas, cheese pupusas. Oh, okay, there you are. Bien, esta es la manera afirmativa, ¿verdad? Esta es la manera afirmativa. Ahora, si yo lo quiero decir en una forma negativa, ¿qué es lo que tengo que agregar? Not. Not. ¿verdad? Not. Acordémonos que esto también tiene otra contracción diferente, ¿verdad? En este caso, la que estamos usando es enfática, ¿sí? Estamos enfatizando el no, la, ne la forma negativa. We're not going there. Not going to eat pupusas. Sorry for them. Ok, ahí ya los tenemos como armados y sabemos lo que, eh, cómo se arma una oración, ¿verdad? Expresando una acción futura, ¿sí? O una acción que no va a suceder en el futuro, ¿sí? En un futuro cierto, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, ellos van a ir a comer, pero... They are not going to eat pupusas. They are going to eat tacos, right? Okay, so kind of thing like this. Bien, ahora vamos a irnos al contexto en que estamos para que veamos algo bien importante. Por ejemplo, ustedes cuando compran en línea, a ver, do you buy online? Yes, uh -huh. teacher. Okay. Yes. Is there any other way you use to buy your products that you need? 
Is there any other way or only online? Do you go to the physical store? Yes. Okay, is there any other way? ¿Alguien usa alguna otra manera? Vale, si compramos online, ¿cómo les mandan el producto? How do, they, how do you receive the product? Impacto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Delivery. Ok, delivery. Uh -huh. If you buy something foreign or abroad, how do they send you the package? What way do they use? ¿Qué forma usan ellos? Uh -huh. Sometimes use a, a box. Okay, boxes. packaging like boxes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do they Another send time? these things through couriers like UPS, FedEx? Do they use the postal office uh, or the US post office or part service? ¿Cómo se los envían? Por correo, ¿verdad? En algunos casos. Eh, en otro, pues es un courier, ¿verdad? Un eh, agente que trae y lleva o es agente logístico también, a logistic agent, right? They eh, used to do this job, right? Ok, bien. Voy a ir por acá en nuestro manual. Tenemos algo bien, bien importante, ¿sí? Y bueno, eso es cuando nosotros compramos, ¿verdad? Pero por ejemplo, en sus compañías, en your companies, What's the way that they use to buy their products? What's use the way? A, a freight for water. Okay. So it means that they come by sea, right? Okay. Depends. Oh, is okay. the is the urgent is a, a urgent item we use a courier. Oh, okay. Like FedEx or a Salvadorian one. Is a free for word that they call, uh, you say, um, I see me a bit out of like mm, quick shipping, quick shipping. Oh, quick okay, shipping. okay. Mm -hmm. So, there are a lot of companies dedicated uh, to sending and uh, taking these packages to the final destination, right? For example, in your companies, what products do they usually buy? A ver, ¿qué productos usan usualmente? A I mí, mean, eh, qué raro sonó eso. Usan comúnmente, right? What are the raw materials or what are the uh, products that they buy? ¿Cuáles son los productos que compran? ¿Cómo se dice chucherías? Ah, eso se dice munchies. <laughs> Yeah. No es que no <laughs> oh, really? How come? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, chucherías monchis is like snacks oh. and different things that they are kind of garbage, or uh, in this case, they are like, um, <clears throat> yeah, garbage food or trash food, right? Um, <laughs> There is another way to say it, but I don't want to say. Uh, okay, yes, munchies, munchies. Mm -hmm. How do you say donuts, teacher? Like that, donuts, donuts. Uh -huh. Donuts, okay. Yeah. Donuts. Do you buy donuts? Yes, <laughs> always. <laughs> Only on September, okay. Well, In the you know. gas station. Oh, really? In oh. uno. Oh, good, good. That's a station one. Okay. And what's your favorite topping? ¿Cuál es el sabor favorito de donas? Eh, es la de chocolate blanco con chocolate normal. Oh, ya nos dio carita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Interesting, interesting. Bien, entonces estamos hablando de que Henry también, Monchis, Eric, Donuts. Pero ¿qué otros productos eh, compran en su compañía y cuál es la manera en que los reciben? Uh, 
the company buy uh, mechanical parts, uh, motors, or uh, heavy ma machines. Okay. Uh, they buy uh, oil uh, and tires, oil. Mm -hmm. uh, lubricants. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they buy uh, tires, mm, gaskets. Because you are distributors. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, guys, when you buy, like in those kind of companies, uh, quick shipping and the logistics, any logistic, right? Um, we can say that they do the transference right from one hand like the factory or the warehouse of this factory to the destination the destination okay so pero hay un intermedio verdad que es esa compañía right entonces cuando nosotros compramos un producto que nos van a enviar nosotros queda, tenemos que dar cierta información que va en una viñeta sí that Uh, label is called shipping label, okay? Esa es una viñeta que se llama shipping label. Y esa información, uh, that information is uh, essential for the transit, right? Or the traffic of this package along the way from its origin to the destination. So we're going to see this in our manuals, okay, this is on page 15, you will see that in activity two, we have this kind of information in a box like a shipping label, okay? Check the information in the following shipping label. Let's see. What do you think is this? What do you think is this? What do you think is this? Okay, what information is there in a shipping label? What information is there in a shipping label? Okay. Vamos a decir entonces que la información que va en estas viñetas de envío sería recipient address, right? That's very important, the recipient address. And the recipient address usually is the mailing address, okay? The mailing address. And then we have the shipper address, the shipper. Shipper is the person who is sending, or in this case could be the sender of the materials, the products that you are, uh, that it is in transit, right? So we have recipient's address, okay? Or the receiver, okay? Or the customer, right? And then we have the shipper address. Son dos direcciones muy importantes. Entonces, al verificarlas, mailing address is the Uh, miren, en realidad, shipping and mailing address are kind of similar, okay? Shipping and mailing. Pero vamos a decir, eh, para efectos de este contexto que estamos viendo, que shipping address es la del que lo envía y mailing address es el que lo recibe, okay? Aunque usualmente shipping and mailing vienen siendo la misma dirección hacia donde va, okay? El producto. Y esta se conoce como shipper address, ¿ok? Como la dirección del que envía. Entonces, vamos a ver, what's the address? Where is this coming from? Let's read. What's the company name that is sending this package? It's Travers Inc. Yes, Travers Inc. And what is the address, the shipping address? Lingway, San Carlos, California. Okay, 0570, right? Okay, yeah. there you go. Uh, what is then the mailing address? El Gerard Road, number 34, La Unión El Salvador. 34, uh -huh. La Unión El Salvador, bien. Is there a recipient name on it? No, it has 
No, there isn't. No, there isn't. So let's see, why could this happen? ¿Por qué podría suceder eso? Probablemente, probably, this package can go to the same company, like uh, to a branch of this company, and they don't need to specify that this is going to Travers. But, but it's needed a name, okay? Esto sí es bien importante. Entonces, digamos que se lo va a enviar a su compañía, entonces ustedes van a usar su nombre de su compañía acá, ¿ok? En cualquier actividad que nos pidan después en el mandato. Bien, what do you think is this? What do you think is this? Why do you think these numbers, large numbers, are? The telephone numbers uh, from ship. It could be. It could be. I'm but, not sure. Zero okay. zero is a area called area USA. Uh, could be. Zero. Okay. Yeah, the zero zero one. Zero one. It is only one for the United States, but it, yeah, it could be. But in this case, look at this. Here we have a tracking number, right? Do you see the tracking number here? Zero, zero, one, two, zero, one, three, four, two, three, three. Is it? Isn't it this one? Okay, miren por acá, está de, definido, ¿verdad? Pero no, está puesto, pero no está... Um, especificado que este es el tracking number, ¿verdad? Esto podría ser un código del tipo de producto que va ahí, ¿sí? Podría ser eso, ¿sí? Por eso está acá y por eso puede estar acá, ¿sí? Puede ser el código del producto según aduanas, ¿ok? According customs, ¿ok? También puede ser que esto, en vez de estos números, vaya un barcode, ¿ok? Un código de barra, ¿sí? Barcode. Bien, veamos. How many units are there in this shipment? Sixty-five units. Okay, there are sixty-five units. Very good. And what's the code of the shipment or the number? Shipment number? Seven eight four. Seven eight four. Yes, this is like a code, um, uh, internal code, right? Han visto ustedes eh, esos eh, números a veces están pintados en el, uh, ¿cómo se llama esto? The 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 freight, right? The sería en la rastra, ¿verdad? No, container. la rastra. The con, container. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. The container. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay. Bien. Veamos acá. It's a sender. Sender. What do you think about this information could be? ¿Qué podrá hacer eso? Sender es la persona o la empresa que está enviando, ¿sí? Maybe Entonces, it's, a, it's a call for the, for the envío. Exactly. Usually the factories get an account, ¿ok? Ellos agarran una cuenta en donde ellos van a estar siendo, eh, 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 recibiendo sus cobros, ¿verdad? Entonces ese código es como de invoice para poder hacer eh, las declaraciones, ¿verdad? De invoice y de facturación, ¿verdad? Así como los pagos eh, de impuestos, etcétera. They use that kind of code. And usually this kind of code is for those that are, um, eh, that they are exporters or importers, right? que son importadores y exportadores. Well, usually they have kind of different codes. Ellos tienen diferentes códigos. Entonces, si hay un código por ahí que dice sender, 
está relacionado con información de la compañía, ya sea de cuentas o de los productos que ellos comercializan, ¿verdad? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Esta fecha, esta fecha que ven acá. Se llama Manufacturing Date. Manufacturing Date. MFG. Ok. Hey, parece como la de uh, BFF, right? Uh -huh. Best Friends Forever. No, ¿cómo se llama la de él? BFG. ¿Cómo se llama? Best Friend Giant, right? Do you remember? But it's this MFG. Yeah. What's the manufacturing date? Is December 4th, 4th, uh, 2015. Very good. Okay. And what's the weight? Uh, 120 pounds. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's go to the activity right below. Okay. It says, <clears throat> Read the shipping label information and answer those questions. Okay, vamos todos a resolver estas preguntas. A ver, para la primera, 30 segunditos y me dan la respuesta. A ver. What's the shipping address? Oh, sorry. Ya me pasó las de Rafael ahí. Here it is. What is the shipping address? Decíamos que hay dos direcciones, ¿sí? ¿Cuál de las dos sería la shipping address? Esto Sería es el punto de acuerdo de llegada, al ¿no? material este, ¿verdad? Tú, ¿Perdón? El punto de llegada. Eh, debiera ser, sí, debiera ser, pero hay dos direcciones. Está la shipping address and the mailing address. Sí. En realidad las dos son el destino, ¿verdad? Pero de acuerdo a este contexto que estamos viendo, ¿ok? Shipping ser, o el... Lo han puesto como el shipper address. Ok, lo voy a escribir para que. Así, shipping. Es la shipper address. Ok, es la dirección del que envía o sender's address, ¿verdad? Dirección de envío. No, la dirección de envío sería mailing. Ok, sería mailing. Esta que dice shipping es shippers. Ok, que sería la de Travers. Ellos son los que están enviando, ¿sí? A ver, ¿quién me dice la dirección? Yenway, San Carlos. Y hey. Glenway, uh -huh. San Carlos. Uh -huh. Ajá. CA significa California. Ah, yo pensé que era Centroamérica. No, eh, en este caso es California. Uh -huh. Oh, five, seventeen. Seven zero. Seven zero. Se seventy, right? Seventy. Remember, you said seventeen. It's not seventeen. Okay, yes. <clears throat> so, what is the mailing address? What is the mailing address? Number two, 30 segunditos. Glenway, San Carlos, California. Eh, no, en este caso no, sería hacia Road. dónde va. Exitra Road. Road 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. ¿Y cuál es la última pregunta? What's the last question? Oh, no, we have two more. How many units are in the package? 
in the, in the United States. No, how many units? How 65 many units? Sixty-five units. Sixty-five units. units. Excellent. Then oh. what is the next one? <clears throat> what is the manufacturing? I'm sorry. It's a quantity. Yes, quantity. Mm -hmm. Now we have number four. What is the manufacturing date? December 4, 2013. Very good. There we are. Okay. <clears throat> Permítanme un momento. All right, then we have this thing just to remember, okay? Ahora ustedes me van a decir esto, ¿sí? What's a shipping label? A ver, Eric Jose, what's a shipping label? Ah, quiero ver. Ah, quiero Ok, la, la respuesta, Eric José, sería a shipping label. Ah, ok. Is, y me describe qué es. Casi no puedo leer las pequeñas letras. <ríe> no, no, esto es de acuerdo a lo que hemos estado hablando. Dar la definición de qué es una shipping label. A ver, ¿alguien le quiere ayudar? Uh, shipping label is a, is a kind of document when you stick in the box. Uh, ah, yo estaba buscando el nombre de la, de la empresa de que lo envía. Ah, ok. No, <laughs> label es viñeta. Y como okay. hablando de viñeta, esto que dice eh, Rafael es correcto. Miren, entonces, a shipping label is a sticker. Ok. Is a sticker. Uh -huh. Containing. Sorry. Containing data of the sender and the recipient of the shipment. Okay, very good. Containing data of shipper. Vamos a poner center, me dice, and recipient. And also some specifications of the product that are in traffic, right, or in transit. For example, uh, there you can have the name of the product. You can also have the code of products. You can also have there in this barcode, when you scan this barcode, it's going to, uh, it's going to show the information related to the places or to the warehouses where they are, I mean, they are uh, storing this package um, when it is in transit, right? In the process of point A to point B, okay? Entonces, aquí podemos encontrar todo eso. Y esto es lo que contiene, o eso lo contiene, un, por eso nos dan un tracking number. Okay, data of sender and recipient and important, really important, the tracking number. ¿Para qué sirve un tracking number? Uh, we can para, use the just... tracking number for the, uh, the follow, following the package in the travel, in the journey. Yes. To warehouse, to my, my door. 
Okay, so until they deliver, there is a process, right? It's a way where it's uh, getting some, or yeah, uh, getting some destinations, middle <clears throat> destinations until it gets to the final destination, right? So you can track the package through this number. Y ellos le dan a uno una dirección de internet, ¿verdad? Donde hay un sitio donde usted puede estar verificando esa información, to verify that information. Uh, so we have senders and recipient information and most important, the tracking number. Pero también va el <coughs> uh, service, ¿ok? El servicio que se ha contratado. Por ejemplo, en esta que vemos acá, es ground, miren, es por tierra, ¿verdad? Ok, es ground, ¿y qué quiere decir? Que esto lleva un poquito más de tiempo, las especificaciones del servicio pues son diferentes, los costos son distintos y los tipos de productos que van por esa vía pues son bastante eh, grandes también, eh, de tamaños grandes, ¿verdad? Que no pueden ir en avión de forma eh, más económica, ¿verdad? Entonces, la forma más económica es por tierra, ¿no? Entonces, ahí usted eh, va a encontrar el tipo de servicio. Puede ser overnight, ¿verdad? Puede ser eh, special delivery, puede ser cualquier otro servicio. A ver, ¿en qué tipo de servicio han visto ustedes que su compañía recibe los productos? Marítimo. Ok, by sea, ajá. Ajá. Any other service? Yo creo que va a depender según la carga. Exactly, and the product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is, is correct say uh, airway? Yes, it is correct. Mm -hmm. It is correct. Bien, entonces vamos a ver esto así como más... Eh, en listita, digamos, para que se nos vaya quedando. Tenemos diferentes tipos de labels, different types of labels. We have prepaid labels, return labels, mailing labels, international shipping labels, and domestic shipping labels. This is in the United States, right? Usually in, bueno, en nuestro país, usualmente no era así hasta que, pues, Ahora la tecnología ha ganado ese terreno, ¿verdad? Y eh, de las ventas. Entonces, todo es delivery, ¿verdad? También en, en, en estas compañías ahora hay para el comercio interno, para el comercio internacional, para eh, diferentes otros servicios, ¿verdad? Ya sea el expreso, ¿verdad? Que nosotros conocemos que es el que pagamos más, ¿verdad? Para que llegue más rápido. Y el, el que es el special delivery, el eh, entrega especial que pagamos mucho más porque está más seguro, ¿verdad? Más custodiado ese paquete. Entonces, estas labels, estas viñetas definen esos servicios también. Ahora, eh, tenemos the prepaid label que usted paga por adelantado, el envío, ¿sí? Usually, when you buy something online, for example, a pair of shoes, okay, then you try them and they don't fit, right? They don't fit. So you have a prepaid label that the company send you in the package. Then you put the, the prepaid label on the package, right? And you can return it. Ya cuando, está, eh, cuando usted lo recibió y está prepagada. Si no, pues también hay una que se llama return label y que muchas veces ese return no va cargado a la compañía, sino que va cargado al cliente. Entonces, prepaid es que pagaron por adelantado cualquier servicio de, relacionado, ¿verdad? En el envío. Mailing label. Mailing label son aquellas que nosotros tenemos que llenar, ¿verdad? Con toda la información y después pegársela al paquete. Llamamos que lo vengan a traer y, y así, ¿verdad? That's mailing label. Y si no, ellos nos traen esa viñeta y en el momento estamos llenándolo, se lo pegamos y el muchacho pues se lo lleva, ¿sí? Es mailing label, que es para enviar por correo o en, estos, en este caso, pues este tipo de empresas que se llevan uh, productos, ¿sí? 
Entonces, haciendo un poquito de resumen, ¿verdad? Este es el vocabulario que hemos aprendido el día de hoy. ¿sí? What is a shipping label? It's a label, a sticker, okay, that contains this information, sender's name and address, recipient's address, the service method, the barcodes, the tracking number. And also they could be prepaid labels, they can be return labels, they can be mailing label, and it can be um, abroad or international labels, shipping labels, domestic shipping labels, okay? Are we okay so far? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Okay, bien. Vamos a ir entonces en estos cinco minutos que nos quedan aquí a el manual. Y vamos a regresar al tema de going to. Okay. How to use be going to. So let's go to page 16 and there we have a box with some examples. And usually this uh, uh, information is going to be related to shipping packages, okay? Here it is. I stop, see? For example, in the affirmative way, we are going to say, I'm going to give you the information, right? I'm going to give you the information. What information? Could be the sender's information, the uh, recipient's information, etc. I'm not going to give you the information. I'm not going to give you the information because you are not the qualified to do it, right? So the next one, the airline is going to transport the shipping. The airline is going to transport the shipping. The airline isn't going to transport the shipping. Okay, the airline isn't going to transport the shipping. For example, if you are sending hazardous materials or maybe they are delayed, so they are not sending it. Okay, they are not transporting it. Uh, your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Vamos a ver. Espero que todos estén leyendo que no los miro, fíjense. No los miro. A ver, si estamos leyendo, estamos poniendo atención. Ok, yes. es que veo yes. que hay bastantes cámaras apagadas. Vamos a ver. Um, estábamos, where is the package going to arrive? Esta es la manera de preguntar con going to. ¿Cómo hacemos? Ponemos el be antes del sujeto, ok. Y después ponemos going to y luego el verbo en su forma base. Pero al principio, si es una pregunta de información, va con una WH word. Okay. Who is going to deliver it? Who is going to deliver it? Vamos a ver en la forma negativa. Your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Oh, that's really frustrating when you don't receive the package that you really need, right? In that day, in that specific time. Okay, vamos a ver entonces, according to this, y como ya manejamos un poquito el be going to, ¿verdad? Digamos. Vamos a tratar de armar estas oraciones. Estas son preguntas, ¿sí? Estas son preguntas. Vamos a armar hoy las preguntas y mañana vamos a dar respuestas, ¿ok? Mañana vamos a hacer las respuestas de este. Ahora, veamos cómo se hace. Sujeto, el be, el going to, el verbo base y la, el complemento. Ahora, veamos las preguntas. Exacto, ahora vamos a las preguntas. La estructura de las preguntas es WH word at the beginning, uh -huh, plus verb be, el verbo be conjugado, ¿verdad? No vamos a poner be. Uh, de ahí vamos a poner el sujeto, de ahí vamos a poner going to, y luego el complemento con el verbo en forma base. Ok, vamos a ver number one. Ajá, uh -huh, where... Where are? Mm -hmm. Going to the pack. Where, where, where are, are going to the, pick going up to. the package? The package. Where are? 
We are going to pick up the package. For a day. El sujeto, el sujeto. Where are the packages? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Going to? Going to? Going to? Pick up the package. Pick up the package. There you go. Pick up the package. Eso teníamos bastante cuando, bueno, yo trabajé en un call center así, un tiempo, en mis tiempos mozos. Y este, es bien difícil entender los acentos eh, de diferentes nacionalidades, ¿verdad? Pero sí, a los chinitos sí cuesta, a los hindús también cuesta un poquito entenderles esta pregunta. Ok. We're, when are they going to pick up the package? Pick up, pick up package. Oh my God. Y entenderles es así como que. Ya yeah, era más difícil. Bueno. Como entender letra de doctor. Ajá, cabal. No, y a veces hay, por ejemplo, el cero. El cero hay algunos idiomas en donde el cero, como ellos no usan la R, ¿verdad? Como nosotros, la R suave o la R. Entonces, eh, chilo, chilo, el, el cero, cero. ¿verdad? Eso costaba también a veces porque lo quieren hacer rápido. Hay bastantes palabras así interesantes. Vamos a ver number two. ¿Cuál sería the WH word at the beginning uh, here? Who uh, uh, is? Going to receive the shipping. Exactly. But in este caso, este es el famoso caso de who. Who puede llevar eh, un sujeto o who puede ser el sujeto. En este caso, who es el sujeto. Yeah. Es el shipping, no el package. Oh, ok. Yeah. Thank you. Who is going to receive the shipping? Shipping también es el envío, ¿verdad? O el paquete que están enviando. Ah, y me faltan los question marks, pero están aquí al final. Ok. Vamos a ver. Number three. Yes. When. When. Mm -hmm. when is. Yes. When is. Going to is arrive going to... new material. Material. En este caso va primero el sujeto. Okay. When is the new material going to arrive? Okay. Así. Acordémonos que después del B es que va el sujeto, ¿sí? Después del B va el sujeto, después va going to y después va el complemento o el verbo, la acción, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a eh, contestar estas preguntas, ¿ok? Si le pueden tomar el screenshot para que vean ya la pregunta ya hecha. Y ahí en el... Uh, Sí, en la plataforma yo les puse al, eh, tres preguntas para que eh, participaran ahí <coughs> con quién for information. Así que hay tres preguntitas, no han participado, así que los invito a que participen, ¿verdad? Eh, bien, voy a tomar la asistencia. Eh, la ases ayer me disculpo, eh, tuve una situación de salud. Eh, tengo una situación de salud, entonces en ese momento perdí el sentido y tuve que correr, ¿verdad? Y bueno, tuve un incidente. Entonces, eh, me disculpo por no haber eh, ofrecido el tiempo de sesión uno a uno. Ahora el, la sesión uno a uno sí está disponible, puede quedarse, le tocaría en este caso a, a ver, esta sería la clase 4, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. ¿Quisiera quedarse, Carlos Roberto? Ok. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Ok, thank you, Andrea. 
Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Ahí le dicen a Blanca que nos hizo falta. Okay. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present, chair. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Hazel. Ay, ¿Están viendo? Hazel Elizabeth Navarro Present. de Cervellón. Present. Están pasando lista. Dígame, ok, Hazel, thank you very much. Present. Carlos Roberto, ¿me iba a decir algo? Presente. Carlos. Y hey, cuéntenos el chiste, vamos a ver. Hernán Antonio Chacón, a mí me gustan los chistes. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente. Ok, pero creo que me pasé, ¿verdad? Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Ok, José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present, teacher. Ok, Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present. Ok, Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present, teacher. Oscar Leonel García Magaña. Present. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present, teacher. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Eric Erenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. José Miguel Maza Orellana. Wendy Lizeth Gómez García. Luis Ernesto Majano Valle. Present. María José Hernández Sauceda. Ok. Tengo algunos ausentes. José Abel envió algún mensaje. ¿Alguien recibió algún mensaje? No, ¿verdad? Para poder poner. Ok. Si ustedes conocen a sus compañeros que han faltado, por favor, anímenlos, ¿verdad? Que no hay que faltar. Y ustedes los felicito porque han sido muy responsables. Y el, eh, el attendance score es esencial, ¿verdad? Para poder aprobar y poder seguir recibiendo el beneficio. Está bien, entonces, eh, Carlos, eh, ro, eh, perdón, Carlos Roberto. Ajá. Yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Ah, ok, ok, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, me voy a quedar. Ok, perfect, perfect. Eh, see you tomorrow. Have a nice, good night. Nice. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Bye. Good night. Good night, Karen. Good night, Oscar. Good night. No, yo tuve problemas, por eso no puedo entrar más temprano. Pero oh, lo siento. ok, ok. Ok, here we are, Carlos Roberto. You can tell me. How okay, can teacher, I help um, you? Uh, first, uh, my apologies because uh, uh, my internet, uh, if failure, Falló, así se dice. Okay. Sí, it's failed. failing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's failing. And, and, and before my, my, no, after, después, okay. after, <laughs> after uh, my, my micro doesn't work. And, oh. Uh, uh, me salí del programa de Zoom y lo volví a conectar. Entonces ahora sí me funcionó. Por eso oh, no le había respondido y le escribí ahí. 
Okay, sí, no problem, no problem. Yes, it's okay. It's okay, Carlos, and I appreciate that you um, keep trying to connect, okay? I, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, questions, uh, really, uh, actually, I, mm, I, I won't uh, only try talk. <laughs> this is the, the a little moment to okay. to talk with you uh, okay very good practice. Uh, yes very good um so, so the, the the class uh, no sé cómo se dice trató uh what's o about sea, uh, ah about sí sí así es cierto se me olvidado the, the the class was about um uh, of the tickets uh or labels the labels the shipping the labels uh-huh shipping labels okay shipping and, labels. and so in this case, I I sometimes I buy uh, or I shipping shipping is yeah yeah shipping okay. um por por medio de uh, through 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 okay uh -huh. through AliExpress the app Ali, AliExpress oh, okay yes mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I buy uh, some things in China and I I uh, I. Do do was, they do you buy them uh, in big quantities or uh, for? I mean, uh, by one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one one thing, two oh, things. Oh, okay. Uh, and for example, I I ship in uh, uh, keyboards of oh, uh, key, uh, some some kind of keyboards. Uh, don't sell. No lo venden así, verdad? Don't sell. Sell. Don't, uh, don't don't sell in in the country and okay. in our country, and for example, one keyboard of a uh, laptop Lenovo, R quinientos five hundred. Sorry, el hundred. Casi lo confundo mucho con el thousand. Lo siento. Okay, no problem, no problem. Keep practicing. Yeah. Okay, it is five hundred. Uh huh. Uh huh. Five hundred. And uh, in, in 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 the computer center. Uh, some keyboard doesn't work and we we uh, buy uh -huh. uh, buy it we buy it buy it uh, that that keyboard and the time uh, was two months uh, to arrive and in as country and he and I think he is very como se dice cuando uno está muy pues sí viendo todos los días el objeto y ella vino y por dónde va entonces eso verdad no, oh, no, sé, no sé cómo decirlo kind of stressing. ah stressing mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's stressing because uh, the 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 very uh, the very uh, there are very much time you get anxious in the country. okay uh, yeah. how how long does it take to receive uh, one of those products sometimes um, I I check the app and uh, for example the Los envíos de sense, así sería los envíos. No, the shipping. Ah, ok. Shipping. Ah, perdón, sigue siendo. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. The shippings eh, eh, hacen escala, no sé cómo se dice. Ok, they stop. They stop. Ah, ok, they, they, mm -hmm. they stop and sometimes in Inglaterra, England, and mm -hmm. sometimes in Colombia. Eh, depends on uh, the, the, the logistic and eh, two months. For okay. arrive, uh -huh. but, if but you want sometimes... to, if you want to order, for example, a gift, a birthday gift from Ali, you have to do it two months uh, before. No, I did it. Pardon. If you want, okay, if you want to order something for a birthday gift, you have to do it two months before. Birthday gift. You still get it. Uh -huh. If you want to uh -huh. order, ordenar mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. from Ali for a birthday gift, para algún regalo de cumpleaños, you uh, have to do it two months earlier. <laughs> See, two months, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because but, but the, the big problem sometimes is in, in our country because aduana, no sé cómo se dice. Customs. Customs. Ah, okay. the customs. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, uh, pasan the two weeks and okay. in that place and I, I, I am waiting 
because sometimes uh, they'll deliver me or uh -huh. sometimes I'm going to the uh, to the office uh Sasa Carlo. Oh okay. <laughs> and, and, okay. Uh -huh. Very good. So yes, uh, yeah. But it is an interesting experience and you can fulfill your needs. O sea, si le satisfaces sus necesidades. Yes, there are, for example, uh, in our country, uh, don't exist uh, un arnés que se pone en el, en el, en el, en el pecho para teléfono. Oh, okay. Como una mochila, pero frontal y se coloca el teléfono. Oh. No sé, como, es como tipo rack, no sé si es como algo así. Okay. Pero, pero es como, son cinchas y es ah. para como yo manejo moto. Entonces, uh, ah, I'm okay. recording in the, in the, in the, the, the trip. Oh, uh -huh. good, a, nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh -huh. So it's like a cell phone holder, but on your body. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, yeah, like that. Mm, uh -huh. Good. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They, mm -hmm. Maybe they have uh, inno innovative products, right? And technological yeah. products too. Mm -hmm. for, for, for example, my, my sister, she uh, vende como es? Shell. Cell. 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 Sell. She sells uh, a imitation of Pandora. Oh, Pandora okay. imitation. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but but this imitation is 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 silver. Oh. Uh, the the difference is uh, is isn't um, uh, hecho made made uh, uh -huh. made by, by by the the, the enterprise is made uh, for third party. Oh, okay. No sé si se dice por terceros, yeah. ¿verdad? Yes, por a third party. party. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, party. but, but, but it's, it's silver, but it's, oh. it's not all silver. Sometimes they So it's a, be, it's in... a very good quality imitation. Yes, yes, okay. but, but uh, it's, it's, it's the, uh, I, I mean, it's silver. Okay. No, no, this, no, no, no es un baño. It's, mm. it's the, 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 met, the, 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 Pure uh, silver. Metal. Yeah, it's pure silver, but the difference okay. is the in the in the center they put uh something like that a uh, rock, but it's black. I don't know what, what is that. Like uh, radiation that, uh, magnets or something like that. Uh but 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 it's black. It is uh, is not uh not not magnetic. Oh. No, no, don't have a proper proprietor for the of magnet. Maybe an alliation of something, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, and around is the silver. It is oh. and the silver have the form of the something like that. Uh, B, 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 uh, the Star Wars. Uh huh. B, BB eight, the robot, the little uh, okay. robot. Okay. Uh huh. Or, or or sometimes there are hertz or or there are um. Uh, círculos, uh, aros, no sé, pero uh, okay. uh, se ponen en el en brazalet, in the brazalet, oh. in the hand, in the, in the hand, uh. okay. but, but they, they are so, so pretty, really. Oh, uh. nice, nice. Yeah. And you have, well, she has to wait maybe two months to receive each shipment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, in that time, uh, her clients uh, is, is something como uh, Pre uh, me lo aparte. Uh, me lo aparta. Oh, ah, esto esto okay. va a venir. Ah, me lo aparta. Uh, oh, no okay. sé cómo decirlo. Okay, uh, they reserve. They make the reservation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. they reserve them. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. It's a very good experience too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. it does she sell these products person to person or does she yeah. have a store? Uh, it, she have that. Uh, she she do person to person. Oh, okay. uh, she she send she send the products and uh, in another another municipios. Oh, okay, <laughs> Entonces, cities, cities. Uh, and, uh -huh. and other cities. Okay. Uh, sometimes San Miguel, sometimes and uh, in Huachapan, sometimes okay. Santa Ana. She send with a uh, motorcycles. The the, okay. the enterprise with only they, they only do uh, envíos. The, uh, okay, like deliveries. Right. The delivery. Ah, mm -hmm. lo siento, se me olvida. Hizo palabras bien comunes. But no olvida. problem. <laughs> hey, you just have to calm down. But you're doing a good job. You speak very ah, well. Okay, thanks. Yeah, because you are thanks. using all the, the words that come to your mind and then you said them. Um, so it's okay. It's okay. okay. Very good. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Uh, well, we were talking about the delivery of these things, and yes, it's very interesting. Does she sell? Uh, she's an, an entrepreneur, right? Entrepreneur. Es una, ¿cómo se dice en español? Entrepreneur. Eh, emprendedora. Okay. Ah, emprendedora. Yes. Entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, uh, sometimes the cost is two dollars, but she oh. she she's she's sell. Uh -huh. Vende, sí, she sells. She sells. She sells and ten dollars. Oh, good. Buy piece. Ooh, yeah. excellent. Eight dollars. Yeah. One. Yeah. That's a good business. Yeah. 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 Gana mucho. Se gana. Sometimes she won the two thousand. Uh, two hundred, hundred. See, yeah, mm -hmm. hundred. Okay. In 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 and in a week. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And if you have to wait for two months, you have maybe those uh, other two months to make all the transactions, all the deliveries, the yeah. selling, right? So I think yeah. she doesn't uh, stay without uh, activities to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she only uh, wait. Okay, only. Yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Carlos Roberto, this is very interesting. It's really interesting. Yes. Um, uh, um, I don't know uh, if you have any other question that I can help you with. No, any question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Are we okay so far? Estamos bien aquí o quiere hacerme alguna otra pregunta con lo que hemos hablado? Porque decía delivery, el otro, la otra palabra es shipping. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, no, solo... Solo sé que ella existe y a veces se me olvida que eso es todo. Oh, okay. <risa> veces, la, la, son bien comunes después porque se, se ocupan en las aplicaciones. Okay. Eh, solo intentar recordar y practicar, eso es lo que quería. Good. Y puede ir, you can go to uh, watch the shipping labels uh, on the products that you receive, if you have them. Ah, right? yeah. And yeah, there you yeah. can look at the data that these labels hasn't uh, have on it and then you can uh point for example the senders the recipient address the tracking number uh, yeah. okay then yeah. you can um uh -huh. identify those those pieces of those pieces of information right yeah yeah okay. I, I i i check it <laughs> yes, it will be an interesting experience. And then you can go to see the, the video. Usted puede volver a ver el video para, para ubicarse mejor de las partes que se perdió, ¿verdad? Ok. Yeah, okay. thanks. Ok, nice. Si alguna otra pregunta, usted también me la puede hacer por el WhatsApp. Bueno, gracias. Por... Ok. But you did a very good job. I like how you speak. Ok, thank you. <laughs> ok, nice. Then see you tomorrow, Carla. Okay, see you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.